Michigan State last year was that third team firmly in the mix. They beat Michigan, and then Ohio State ripped them to shreds, 56-7. to But they still were a 10-2 team in the regular season, went out there, won the Peach Bowl against Pitt, an 11-2 year for Mel Tucker. Now that is excellent stuff. Boy, does the win total not match up to what they were able to do last year. Seven and a half for Sparty. Kenneth Walker is now on the Seattle Seahawks. I, I think that alone there has probably a lot to do with the movement that you're seeing in terms of Michigan State projections. What do you think here about the Spartans coming into 2022? Yeah, I'll tell you what's interesting about the Spartans here is you're right. You look at the seven and a half and say, ah, one of those middling teams here in the Big Ten, not expected to do much, but a ranked team entering into the 2022 season, which you say, how could that be? Well, if you look at their game schedule here, Kevin, Ohio State, Wisconsin, at Michigan, and at Penn State, and you're right. You lost the heart and soul of that team in Kenneth Walker, but I think it's easier to replace, you know, a starting running back as opposed to maybe a top wide receiver or your quarterback, which you're going to be bringing back both of those guys on a Michigan State team. Now, I did say that you you usually like to have more offensive guys back from defensive guys, but Michigan State certainly in that colder Big Ten, slow it down. You got eight returning starters on defense, five on offense, but the important ones, right? Give me a top wide receiver coming back. You have that. Give me a top quarterback or excuse me, your starter from the year before coming back at that. Seven and a half games doesn't seem like a lot, but as I said, that schedule is tough all the way through. If I'm going to trust Mel Tucker last year, which I didn't have a lot of expectations, and actually, Kevin, that the under on Michigan State last year, this program has built its foundation, and if they Mm -hmm. can find a running back to tote the rock, why can't we get eight wins here and go with an eight and four season for Michigan State? So I think the problem for me with this year's Michigan State's team is it very well could almost feel like ships passing in the night. The defensive side of the football should be better than they were last year, but that is because they were the worst passing defense in all of college football. Now, it did not help having to play Ohio State, Western Kentucky, and Purdue, but the schedule was what the schedule was, and they could not defend the defensive the pass at all. I think they should be a bit better. But the offense, I do think, is going to come back because Kenneth Walker was that important to this football team. He really was, Donnie. He really was. You cannot exaggerate it. 1,600 yards and 18 touchdowns. Donnie, he was in the Heisman mix. Let's not forget. Essentially all derailed again by the nightmare performance that this group did go out there and put up against Ohio State. And you mentioned the difficult part of the schedule here. You know, you go home against Ohio State, home against Wisconsin, at Michigan, and you're going to close it out against the Penn State there. Those are the four games where you will, are they a dog at home against Wisconsin? Maybe not, probably not, right? But those are four very tricky spots on the schedule. But I think they might have more, they have some trickier spots than you would imagine, right? 